Hey, well, guys, and welcome back to uh, some Fall of the Samurai. I'm currently playing Potosa, and if you've missed any episodes or if you're new to this Let's Play, please uh, go ahead and click the playlist uh, down below if you've missed an episode or you were just new. Uh, well, we left off last. Um, we, it was a long episode last time. It was like 40 minutes, which was cool. Uh, we were quelling the rebellions around uh, my Chosakabi Island, um, and we were also... Uh, t uh, declaring war on this faction and we took the settlement and we're going to hopefully push on to this settlement. Um, I also played about two turns on without recording it uh, just because I wanted to get a little bit further in and um, we made two really powerful alliances. We made um, an alliance of this faction as you can see they own pretty much the entire island over there and we also made an alliance of this faction which covers sort of my um, my east on that island. So that that's they're very two uh, very strong alliances, and I also like this entire sort of system. It's very imperial on this side versus shogun on that side, and you've got some imperial factions just chilling here. But um, its majority of it is just uh, imperial versus shogun, which is I think is a really cool idea. Um, I was also uh, doing a nice switcheroo with my generals. My um, faction leader's coming back because my people are really unhappy, uh, which isn't good. And he leveled up. He's uh, currently. Um, chilling in here uh, trying to sort out the unhappiness by building a spy network but I think a spy network um, I think the spy network only stops people from assassinating people in there so that was kind of silly of me um, also my geisha's over here I could probably bring her back and make people happy um, yeah that will um, do something good so might as well leave it there I wasn't quite sure what I did I just ignored it a little um, hmm. so yeah my general's going to be there next turn which is cool and I'm bringing this general over here and then when the general's over here we will go ahead and attack we're also building some quite nice elite infantry um, I'm currently building some Tosa riflemen which can basically hide in uh, grass and shoot whilst in grass and woods so they won't be able to be shot upon and I'm getting some nice red bear infantry um, I'm also getting quite a bit of money as well, about a grand a turn now. It will obviously go down when I build these units because they're quite um, high up units and quite strong. Um, so that will obviously go down when I build them. Oh, and you can actually get onto mainland through that. I did not, not realise that. You can actually get onto mainland Japan through that crossing. How exhilarating. Now, I'm still annoyed we haven't actually got a naval battle yet either. That's a bit gay. I want a naval battle! Um, I've been playing naval battles online, they've been super super fun. Are they going to attack me and are they going to fail? Yeah, they're going to attack me. And, um, hmm. It's going to be easy, but I want to fight it. Solely because um, I want to know what my castle looks like. It's probably going to be a really disappointing castle now, I can just tell. But this is my home province, so. And of one of the starting factions, so yeah. It's not really very ex uh, exhilarating, is it? But I, I still think it'll be quite cool to hold. I mean, we've got a lot of muskets, so we'll just shoot them to death, and hopefully they don't <laughs> get into combat. Oh, I'd laugh so much if we lost it. I'd actually cry <laughs> if we lost our capital to a rebellion. That would most certainly be sad times. The music is really loud. I'm going to have to turn that down. I'm not sure how loud it is for you guys, but um, someone said in my last video that it was quite hard to actually hear me, so I am brought my mic closer, and hopefully it is better now. But um, only time will tell, hey? Yeah, it's still quite a cool looking fortress. The levees are ready, sir. The levees are ready, sir. They look pretty cool. I also put the graphics up a little bit because the faces looked a bit shit. They still look a bit shit. But um, they look good enough, I say. So, yeah, let's um, form up our muskets around here. We only got two units of muskets, so we need to make sure we use them nicely. Um, let's just do that. Okay, let's, now let's pause it. Oh, if I can actually hit the pause button, just retarded then. And we shall get our men to line up properly. And our spears to get ready there. Uh, spears there, and general can just chill there. That is very cool. Our general also has a rifle by the looks of it, as I can shoot. Looks. This ability increases the general's area of influence. Oh, that's quite cool. So he can, uh, if I want to pop a rally but troops aren't in range, I can click that and it should make them more likely to um, 
yeah, they'll actually be able to get range, which is quite cool. Because Levy's look so bad compared to like proper line infantry. They need to be running as well. They all need to be running because yeah, they're in range, but but I don't want, I don't want to get uh, these spears too close. And archery towers as well, these will be very useful, especially if I stick fire arrows on. Um, something I actually found out um, the other day is you can actually get like matchlock towers and gatling gun towers in your castles. So you can actually get like a proper gatling gun up here or like uh, rifles or cannons and shit. Yeah, it's really cool. So hopefully later on in the campaign that will be something to look forward to. Oh, these just aren't very formed up at all, are they? They need to reform before I whip them. Let them feel... So yeah, my graphics aren't the best, but they're still alright. Nothing to complain about, I guess. I do apologise, but I do not have the mums to get a nice computer, like a really nice computer. So I've had this computer for about a year now. She's done me well. Well, we can almost fire upon them. I'm going to inspire them as well. But I can't quite yet. When I can, though, I will inspire them. Oh, they're going to... Volley, now they're backing off for volley. Oh, they're running at me. And they've just taken quite a juicy volley. See you later, General's bodyguard. Well, we can't quite inspire them yet. I'm not quite sure what their General's doing. Inspired them, so that should increase their reload speed. Oh, they're dismounting. Okay, that's not as stupid as I, f I thought it was. Uh, just dismounting. The majority of them are shooting on them, which is nice. Killed 15 men already in a volley. They're taking a pounding. They're just getting shot before they can even get up here. They're routing now. Yeah, they're shattered. And, oh, it's just a mass route. The general shall go out and clear them all up trying to get up there but they just can't and um, yeah so that was a very nice victory we did lose a single man which is always nice and um, oh yeah we need to get this tower to shoot as well we shall get our general as well to clean up all of these men I'm going to continue it but I'm not going to make you guys watch it because it would just be pointless and boring so <laughs> I'm not sure, actually sure how pointless and boring it would actually be if it's just me killing all these men so, yeah, I'm not going to make you guys watch it, but still, this is just going to be a massacre. I might show you the like, end screen of just a trail of dead bodies. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, not thanks for watching, I'm not ending the episode now. What am I talking about? Anyway, I'll see you guys in a second. So that was a very, very good uh, very good victory. We lost two men and killed a lot. And that should put down that rebellion and that should uh, make the people a lot happier in the settlement as well now. And my general leveled up as well. He killed about 400 men, so he's like two chevron and everything. Um, oh, they em abandoned the emperor's cause, which is sad times. Um, no, I don't want to go there, do I? I want to go back to my main settlement over here. I want to... Yeah, they're ha five happy now, solely because of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to upgrade my general. Uh, where is he at? There he is. Let's upgrade him. Uh, what we got chance of being assassinated or minus 10% of railroads or make him build some railroads uh, when defending to arm with a bodyguard yeah let's do that because he's gonna be sitting in here for a while most likely at least so we'll go ahead and stick our uh, daimyo in this place now it should make it a lot happier uh, I want to start taxing it though that's the only annoying thing um, and our ships can bring over the general as well at some point and as soon as he gets here we will go ahead and push on this settlement uh, yeah that's almost done which should give us a bit more money through tax and make uh, my development go up a little bit and we need to look for things which will make us more happy um, or we need to get that at some point as well so we can get trading ports that will probably be the next bit so we can get trading ports and then we can get um, like British Marines and shit like that um, I'm not quite sure who I'm going to be opening my gates to like properly because um, Obviously the British are really awesome, but I imagine everyone's going down the British route. So um, yeah, leave a comment uh, to what faction you haven't seen yet be used and what faction you'd like to actually be seen. Um, no, you can fuck off because I'm about to take your settlements and wipe you out. 
yeah, we need to go quickly though because the faction, that faction there, has pretty much taken, yeah, it's taken them out. They've got one settlement left, and they probably haven't even got an army there. So I'm literally going next turn uh, without even a general, without a general, because I, I need to take that settlement. Oh yeah, that's cool. I wanted to do that. Um, I want to see how happy this place is now. Now I've got my geisha there. Four. Well, the geisha's not doing much. We could upgrade that at some point. Um, yeah, that could be quite nice. Um, yeah, we have to do that. But we'll move the army nonetheless. Up. A bit of infantry. Yeah, we need to take that. Um, should we bother fighting it? Um, they actually have a lot of uh, like a good chance of winning. So we will go ahead and fight it. I guess because we don't have a general. Hmm, new delay. Uh, yeah, we will go ahead and fight it. Just solely because... <laughs> that, that odds of us we're losing were quite high and I don't want to risk it at all because that'd just be emotional if we lost it, our, our entire army in that battle against three units it'd just be a, it'd just be sad really but yeah we also get to try our new Tosa rifles as well I imagine they'll be quite powerful um, especially if you can get them in woods or something because then the enemy can't fire upon them and you're just mowing them down so I imagine that'd be quite good to get. We also need to get some cannons in our armies. We need to. That'll probably be one of our next objectives. So to get get the cannons going, and I need to turn down my music. I'm gonna do it now. Um, yeah, we have the missiles, so we don't want any negative effects. Let's turn down the sound a little bit. Um, music, right down. Effects can stay high because that's cool. So yeah, let's go, boys. Um, we'll just, I'm pretty much just gonna sit out here and shoot them to death. We'll use our toast. We'll use these lads around here. And our infantry can just be in a block behind them and we can rush them. With our cav. Our cav can stay on with our infantry. Is that everyone? Today, sir, we attack. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's advance the infantry. Let's tell you to climb. I want you to climb that. I want you to climb that. And I want you to climb that with the uh, cab advancing slowly. Uh, even though they're running, they can walk. Infantry can all in go up, and you can all go up. You can go up there, and is it that unit which can't quite get up there? Oh, we can't actually cross like a here. That's quite cool. You can't actually cross where the river is deep. You actually have to cross in certain places. That can make choke points very, very annoying. They can run up there and try and capture the um, try and capture the gatehouse to get a little cab like be able to get in. I want everyone to be walking as well because I don't want them to get tired at all. We don't need them to be tired. They can do just as well by walking, but we will play it on a lot a lot faster speed. And they can have a nice little uh, missile off. Uh, I want to see what these dudes look like. They look quite cool. Do they have like scopes on their rifles at all? Doesn't look like they do. Actually, they probably do. I just can't see it. My eyes are going all weird. I'm just staring at them. Oh, we can, we're almost in range. We should definitely be in range there. If we're not, that'd be very bad because we'll, we don't want to be fighting in the water. Yeah, we should be in range. Oh, we turn fine, man. Oh, they have to be a little bit more forward. There we go. We should be able to volley back. They're gonna be obviously winning. They're gonna obviously win this exchange a lot, <laughs> very easily. But I don't care. It'll be cool just to watch them get destroyed. Actually, we are getting destroyed. I might actually pull back. Hmm. No, we can just always retrain them. It's not really an issue. Our melee troops are gonna get get off here soon. What is this? Is this? Oh, it's only an archery tower. Okay, now I want these men to run. 
these men can go ahead and uh, burn the gate quickly as well. Oh, we can't actually burn the gate apparently, even though you would assume we could. Oh well, let's just get up here quickly, man. And we'll use these to get up there, and um, these to get up there. Oh, they're being brave, they're being brave. But they've just pounded this so hard. 120 men. We're taking a pounding, though. This unit here. They are holding the line. You are honourable men, honourable men. Can we not... These can't even burn the gate, which is a bit annoying. Oh, well, they're pretty much letting me, these men. I'll pull them back now. They've done well. They have done well. But they pretty much allowed me to scale the fortress. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I could have just, just as easily not bothered. Uh, these will be ready. Because I don't want to advance up here whilst they're still there. So we all got up now, by the looks of it, as they are turning around. But yeah, we're about to annihilate this unit, which is nice. Our infantry up here is getting up here. We need to take that archery tower straight away. Oh, we've got some infantry up here as well. We need to be careful. We don't want to run up here too much because they're going to get annihilated by the spears. And that, all that infantry is about to go down as well. And we're getting our rifles up here as well, which is nice. An enemy tower is yours, General. Everyone needs to run down here. These spear levy can go and fight them. Oh no, they need to get out of there because they'll get destroyed in combat. Run, boys, run! Yeah, I need to get. They're getting destroyed, and we got that archery tower now, which is nice. Let's get up here quickly before the rifles start shooting upon us, and they can get up there as well. They're fighting. They're still trying to miss our. Where is he? Oh, that's my general. Let's just advance up here and try and win the day. They can uh, go help out the boys as well. By attacking. Uh, the spears are getting up the wall, which is cool. They're giving a nice volley into the side. Let's get them to advance, uh, mount the wall. They've done enough. Our general is killing these guys quite nicely. Get some nice close-ups as well. Yeah, this has been a very nice battle. We've probably lost too many men, like, because too. We've probably lost more men than we should have. But nonetheless, it's been a good battle. And we've got some fire arrows pouring in on these guys as well. They're not going to last long. They'll be dead soon enough. Uh, something I'd like to see about in the future for Total War games is I know this castle's sort of out. Like, it's just no, there's no, like, villages around it. I'd love to see more. Um, I know it would be a lot, it puts in a lot more work for people to do, but I'd love to see maybe um, like villages around here, towns like a bit like Napoleon, but like a fort here would be like the centre. So like, like in, if they did like medieval again or something like that, um, that'd be quite cool. Like just to have Moton Bailey's at like the top of a hill and with a like village all around it. I think that'd be quite cool. And we'll just speed it up quickly whilst uh, this does its thing. We didn't actually get to use our toaster rifles, they just got annihilated. But they look quite cool, they look a bit like foreign troops. Um, if you know what I mean, like the French troops and the Americans, they all have their backpack on the... Um, obviously their back, <laughs> surprisingly enough. And we'll just watch the last few men hold off their civilization before it gets wiped out. Because it's their last actual city, so when this is gone... Um, yeah, they're completely wiped out. A faction is gone. And then pretty much the entire left-hand corner is Imperial. So there you go. End battle. End the battle. So, yeah, that's another bit of land. Uh, taken up by the side toys, by the toes. So we need to kind of... Um, oh, I personally really want to take my island completely. Um, I really want to do that. Because that will give me a really nice power base for when I turn on everyone. Because I'm going to need to start boosting my economy and making it viable so I can have like a lot of troops. Because I'll be able to be fighting a lot of factions. Um, or oh, I get 10 grand if I did that. But we will peacefully occupy it nonetheless. Um, 
I will, will promote him uh, solely because I need another general here. There he is, the good old cutie. And we shall stick this dude in here. We we'll actually keep that. That's unhappy now. By four. Modernization. It doesn't like it. They never like the modernization. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's cool. We'll bring back the levies as well. Well, we can pretty much bring back everyone because we don't need anyone here. And our both our allies are here as well, which is nice. Um, upgrade. We need to stop like upgrading our places at one point. Oh, we got a copper mine here. That's quite nice. Okay, industry. How's that doing? Seven turns to that's done. That's cool. And we can get trading port, and then we can start trading with um, the imperial. Well, with the Western world, which will be very nice. Um, but yeah, we need to take a few more places. I think solely because um, yeah, we need to start taking more land because everyone else is taking up the land. And we can't let them do that because our, our, we're pretty much surrounded by allies now, so we can't really extend our power base apart from our, our island. So I think that's going to be my next conflict. Even though they are an imperialist clown, which will make people really dislike me. I think it has to has to happen. My geisha leveled up. Lovely. Oh, I just unrest everywhere. My lord, a lord of shadow. Fine, why, uh, why not just enlist him? I'm a nutter like that. Um, where is she? There she is. Uh, what we got? Enchanting enemies. Uh, yeah, that looks quite cool. And we shall... Oh, we can get it to inspire troops as well, that's quite cool. We'll do that, because that's what she's doing now. Uh, yeah, that's all happy. Good, good. That is happy now, because obviously my diamond is there, but I really want to do that. It's annoying, I'm going to have to build a few more troops here. Um, we'll get a few more levies there, which will hopefully mean that uh, I can start taxing it. Oh, that's just annoying. If I can't do that, it just takes up so much of my money. If, I, if it rebels, I'll just kill the rebellion. But still, it's just annoying. Oh, two more turns that does that. We need to repair all these. We don't actually have enough money, that costs me a lot of money. That's a police station, so increases the happiness of it. And it's unhappy, I should have just fucking killed everyone in it. <laughs> to be honest, and got 10 grand. I would have much preferred the 10 grand. Than not having 10 grand. I'm sure most people would say that. 10 grand's very nice to have. Oh, they're taking up more land as well, my allies. As soon as this army is re like, replenished and I've put down all the rebellions, which will happen, I'm going to then go ahead and take the Imperial people down there. Oh no, I'm rest. What are you going to do? Um, they're happy now, actually. Hmm, how lovely. They are cool, just replenishing there. That's all cool. And they're not even exempt from tax as well. So that's very cool. Can we bombard these boys? Last we we can. Oh yeah, we can. But no damage has been struck. How sad. Um, samurai revolts. Oh, it's disgusting. Um, they're still really pro emperor. Oh no, that's good. Yeah, it's good. They're pro emperor. That's what I want. Even yeah, I was, I'm not shogun it, am I? Are these all pro emperor? Are these pro shogunate? Yeah, these are pro shogunate. We need pro emperor. Yeah, but it's growing slightly. But better nonetheless. And this obviously has to be. This isn't even. Oh no, that's not even. Yeah, that's 100%. Pro emperor. Good lads, good little lads indeed. And they're reasonably happy now as well. This is place is becoming. There we go, we can start taxing it, getting a bit more money now. But yeah, this faction will be my next conquest. And um, how even be how big are they now? Let's have a look. Uh, it's this faction, is it not? Yeah, they got one ally, and that ally is that faction. We can easily take them. And that should give me a lot of land as well. Should I get these two, and I should get this as well, if I win all my battles. That is. 
So yeah, that'll be very nice to that'll be my conquest. Um, after putting down these rebellions, I oh, did not mean to click that. Um, so yeah, after putting them down, that'll be our next conquest, which will be lovely. That'll be very good to expand our lands, and then we can start fighting the shogunate as well. Not the shogunate, but the old shogun clans. Um, because that that yeah, that'll open our ways up to the north, or the east even. Sorry, the east east north. Um. And then we don't have to piss off any imperial clans to expand. Oh, they're just going to be annoying now. Um, my lord, a man with a passion, uh, learn board, uh, uh, dealings of the Dutch has been promoted and western ideas encourage. Um, yeah, we'll encourage him. It means uh, western people will be more likely to come and uh, do shit with me, which will be very nice. Um, oh, I'm, I'm tempted to declare but they've got a lot more troops so we'll go ahead what we'll do oh shit we need to repair that what even is that it's not my port yeah we definitely need to repair my port um and then we will we will um upgrade one of these at some point probably my uh fields uh we'll get the army we'll get a few more troops over here we'll get some red bull we'll get my toaster infantry and then next turn we will go ahead and take this faction out oh take the rebellion down killed 70 people our ships are like a reasonably high level as well now, which is good. We don't really have any money to upgrade anything quite yet. But we need to get cannons somewhere, so I need to save up and upgrade a town. And then I need to... Um, yeah, and then I'll need to get cannons so I can start getting Armstrong guns and shit like that. Because they, they are beast guns. So yeah, put down the rebellion and then declare war on the cool looking flag people on my island because it will be my island and they should actually not be too pissed off with me as well which is a good thing, oh go away you scum um, oh it's winter as well now winter, so after winter we can't declare war which should just be uh, just about the right enough time as well because we can't declare war in winter really, it's just foolish so what we'll do, that, and then we'll do that, and then we'll do that. Lovely. And then we shall uh, slaughter these people. Oh, actually, this could be quite dangerous. Because they've got a lot of melee, melee troops. I've got like two melee troops. This could be very dangerous. Um, but if they camp, if they just... Because if I was them, obviously I would stay uh, up on a hill somewhere and then get me close and then charge. But I'll just sit back and use my two artillery bombardments to try and encourage them forward. Because, um, yeah, because if you've got an entire melee army, then you're pretty, you want to just rush, um, but you want to get them close enough so they don't, they're not really formed up. Um, there's no trees on my maps as well, so that's a little bit annoying uh, that I can't hide in trees and shoot. Because uh, I want to try, I want to test out the toaster infantry, but the good thing about me having toaster infantry is um, that they have a bit about 150 range, I think. So they'll be able to start sniping off the enemy way before um, anyone else can, which will be uh, should be very nice. Foggy uh, reduce all missile reduces accuracy. No, we want to wait. Dry, yeah, lovely. Well, That's quite a cool looking map as well. well. Is there a hill we can get at all? Hmm, no, there's no hill at all. There's a hill there, but I don't want to. I don't really want to advance too much. So yeah, let's form a battle line, let's get it more central. Our Tosa Rifleman can go there. Let's reform them up there. Two spear units. Get ready. General. And our rifles can go here. They're looking pretty cool. Pretty, attack, pretty snazzy with their rifles there. They look like they've just got like Winchesters or something like that. But I still think that looks really cool with like the, the whole holding the flag and shit. It's very Napoleonic, which is cool. And where are our Red Bear infantry as well? They look pretty cool as well. With their funny hats. And are the enemy actually going to come to me? Because I think they're going to. And they bulked up really nicely. That's going to be so nice for an artillery bombardment. 
Oh, I'm, I'm dreading it for them when I, I well hopefully I can get a direct hit in the middle and pretty much annihilate all their men. Um, these rifles can shoot quite far. The only thing I have to worry about is um, is their cavalry charging this unit of rifles because they'll pretty much rout after one one hit. Our red bear, where what flank are they on? They're on my extreme left. They'll be nice to sweep around. I guess. Yeah, that would be nice to flank, even though they're better in melee. Um, I think so. I think these guys are a little... Obviously, they're better than levies. But I think these guys are reasonably strong in melee. Not great. Six and four. So they're not amazing, but they're not awful. Oh, we can almost call in our first artillery bombardment. And it's quite nice that they bulked up here, so they're going to be uh, really nice to shoot uh, with rifles as well. And hopefully our, our spears can then plug the gap uh, to counter them. So what's going to take me 11 seconds, yeah? 11 seconds to call in. Uh, so yeah, let's use it. We're going to call it about there, I'm saying. Oh, actually, I don't know. That's probably a bit too late. Well, it could be absolute... Oh, you bastards. Oh, that's just annoying. Oh, they. Oh, God damn it, smart AI. Okay, I'm watching this cab now. When it starts running. Like now. Oh, nice volley, boys. Okay, get them back. Oh, that rifle is just dangerous. Oh, red bear infantry as well, just going to town. Kill these quickly, and then, yeah, okay, so we now we need to start getting a nice flanking force on this. We've destroyed all their cavalry now, so we need to start uh, flanking. Lovely. Yeah, we're just annihilating them now with rifles. And we've got a nice little flanking force here. They should hopefully route. One more, boys. One more volley. One more volley. Oh, no. Don't reload. Don't reload. Shoot. Yeah, they're routing. Lovely. General can go clear everything up again. Charge. Yeah, they're just being annihilated. Bring everyone back. That's a battle one. How lovely. Uh, I'm going to continue it again and not bother showing you guys me just chasing them down. Um, There's just no point. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. You can kind of see where the battle started along here. I and mean, then you can just sort of see where they started retreating and my cavalry followed them. This is like a path of bodies. This is like the yellow brick road, one would argue. <laughs> I mean, just sort of see it cut off here. Uh, lol. Yes, yeah, so we absolutely annihilated them. Um, killed a lot. Let's see who killed the most. Our oh, general bodyguard got 200 kills. <laughs> Line in some levy infantry increased rank. My red bear and my total rifles increased. So that's all nice. Everyone, um, I got quite an advanced thing. We need to finish off that army though. It's not dead yet. I want it to die. <laughs> there you go. Lost four men and killed that entire army. And he leveled up as well. How lovely. He can then go back there. I'll level him up quickly. Um, while defending, it just means he's, he's, he's less likely to die. Really, that's why I want that. One man to all men under his command. Five percent of this man's radius. Radius. Um, hmm. Actually, we'll do that just so people are more likely to stay and fight. Uh, then I guess we need to start getting ready to bring back the army. Really. Um. Hmm, we can upgrade that. We've got three grand to spend. They're not happy, so we need to do that make them happy. Yeah, that'll make them a lot more happier. Yeah, we'll build that. It costs me quite a bit of money, but when I would, I'll have to like make these places happy for when I take all the troops out in a couple of turns. Because obviously, this isn't going to be my focus anymore. That's just going to be chilling there. I have no need to have troops stationed there apart from killing rebels. So I'm going to need to start making them settlements happy. 
and then bring everything back to my island, wipe them off my island, and then be done, really. And then, yeah, take on that faction, which is looking like it's building up quite a few troops, but hopefully it doesn't have much money. Whereas I'm getting quite a bit of money a turn. I'll, I'll have about two grand at the end of this turn. Or the beginning of the turn, even, to spend. Some more unrest in the settlement. Probably because there's no one in it. That should make it happy. Yes, very happy. Let me click on it and show it. Yeah, it's a happy seven now. <laughs> which is always nice. And it's going pro and pro as well. Which is even nicer. Um, yeah, that's cool. It's losing money, though, which isn't great. That's upgrading that, which is cool. It's everywhere now being taxed. Everywhere is now being taxed. How lovely. Give me that money. Uh, that's done in two turns, which is cool. End turn again, really. There's little to do in winter, apart from let our money go up. And, um, yeah, just build buildings, really. Winter is not a time for war. Well, it's time for a defensive war. The enemy will just die to attrition, just like Napoleon in Russia. Just that's for a reason he lost because he just couldn't handle the amount of Russians there were, and um, the weather was just horrific. Whereas the Russians were used, well not used, well they were used to it, so that gave him an edge. Good old Napoleon. Napoleon actually highly respected uh, Alexander the Second. I think Alexander the Second was in command in the Napoleonic time. I believe it was Napoleon, uh, yeah, I believe it was him. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and upgrade anything. What I'm going to do is I am going to uh, let wait so I can upgrade that because it increases tax and shit, and then I get an extra um, slot, and then I can get cannons. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wait a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to wait another turn and then do that. That sounds like a plan, even though I can upgrade pretty much everywhere. Uh, but I don't really want to do any of that shit. Not quite yeah, I want to upgrade the town really, that's going to be my focus. Because then I can get cannons from that place. Um, and just loads of shit from that place, so that would be good for my main, for my capital. Oh, hello. They just lost a lot of land. But um, my ally's ally, I mean my uh, the person on my island, I need to learn their names, it would be so much easier. That um, faction on my... Um, Island's ally just lost a lot of land to the green people, whoever the fuck they are. But yeah, I need to. Hopefully, it's a Shogunate clan because when I take out these guys, I can just straight away go for them. Um, a polite smile answers many questions. There we go. That's research five returns, and then I can start doing that. I need that. Oh, actually, that sounds like I'm not going to be able to get cannons because I need to be able to build a trading uh, thing here. Oh, there you go, trading port. Yep. Yeah, trading port. There we go. That's built, so we might as well spend some money. Can we spend any money? Yeah, we can upgrade that. So we will go ahead and upgrade that. And Pro Emperor is still slowly going up. It's got like 5% a turn. Which is a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> Didn't realise how much it was. Oh, money's going up again some more. Uh, oh, we don't, do we not have any money to rebuild it? Next turn, we will go ahead and rebuild. And we'll just go ahead and stick our ships in our port. But the map's looking quite colourful now. Now the green faction's coming to play. <laughs> so yeah, we'll end turn. I'll probably go ahead and end the episode in a second as well. Because I don't want it to be too long. I know the last episode was 40 minutes. But tell me if you want really long episodes and I will do it. Because I have the time. They're just sort of mother's meeting now. Just building random troops. So they're going to be quite hard to beat. Which will be a bit annoying. Oh, hello. I might ally at war with them. That could be very nice. Because if they have a massive fight. Then they hopefully leave the island to go take some land. And then I can swoop in and take everything. That could be um, very good. And in my favour. Why well, certainly. And they might even pay me to join their war. Construction complete. Where was that? Obviously repairing something somewhere. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and repair these. Repair the port and shit. So what? Uh, are these guys my ally at war with these guys? Let's have a look. No, diplomacy. Where are you? You're not them, are you? Who else is my allies? These guys. These guys are actually at war with them. 
so I really either need to go as soon as I see an army I need to go for them so I need to start building an army really here or taking my army out of here slowly withdrawing it because how happy are they? They're happy for but that's mainly because I've got troops here so I need to kind of, I want to really take out this, I don't mind leaving yeah they're not exactly happy now um, we'll build another unit of infantry, oh actually we can build this dude and he can um, he can keep order within the place they can go over there so yeah start bringing back the army slowly and I'll, I'll bring back that and maybe an infantry unit and then obviously a general probably at some point and my trading port, how many turns does it take for my trading port to be done? It takes five turns that's cool with me and then we'll be in uh, autumn, not autumn um, yeah we'll be closer to summer, summer's really good time we want to attack because summer is the um, perfect time, it's nice and warm, higher replenishment rate always lovely um, hmm. come on I want them to at least move their army out to actually fight and that faction as well, I'm not sure if they're Shogun or Imperial, the yellow faction there, I think they're sh Imperial I hope, yeah, yeah they're Imperial, I'm pretty sure they are um, let's just have a quick look, yeah they're Imperial oh it's so cool, it's just slowly getting half versus half and these factions as well need to be taken over by the Shimazu, well the Shimazu, the Satsuma they used to be called the Shimazu um, so are they happy now? Yeah, they're still reasonably happy. And he can go in there and rally people to make them a little bit happier. Non clan allegiances, oh that's hurting me quite hard. Oh well. And we need to try and take some men out of here as well. Um I wanna really take that. Oh, are they still happy? Happy? Yeah, they're still happy. That is cool. That's the majority of the army. And they should still be rather happy. That'll go down eventually. But that'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be that's fine. I can bring back quite a few troops and then I'll build some more as well at some point. So yeah, the main army will start coming back. And do they have any ships? Because I want to fucking go. I want to have a naval battle. End turn again, and then I'll end the episode. I'm ready for next episode where we're about to de we'll declare war on the um, cool looking flag people. That's what they're called. But they won't be called that for much longer when I actually destroy them. With Takusumi. Takasuma. Something along the lines. That's why I don't say their names, because I just can't pronounce them and I embarrass myself. <laughs> so I just do not bother. At all, and I wonder if I can use railroads, like use my allies' ra ra railroads. I wonder. Spring, yay! What does it do? More t happiness, yeah, more happiness. Which is always nice. Uh, yeah, let's drop the army off. They can just chill here. Um, what else can we recruit here? Can we upgrade anything here? Oh, we can upgrade the fort. Uh, we can upgrade that, we can upgrade that to get more infantry. We can do the same here though. Oh, we can do that. Which gives me a lot of money. But one unhappiness. So what's that, a silk weave? Or we can just do that. Um, hmm. I don't really want to waste my money. I want to be upgrading this city though. Because then I can get a cannon slot. That's really what I'm going to save my money for. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. It means a hell of a lot um, that you guys keep on watching these and liking it. It really is amazing how much my channel has grown um, over the past couple of months. So it's, it's been really awesome. So thank you guys. Um, third Age is either been or gone, depending what order um, I upload it. But please make sure you go ahead and watch my other Let's Plays if you like me. Because I know I like you guys because I love you. Uh, that was extremely cringy. I apologise. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Keep, please keep on supporting and I'll keep on pumping out the content. So I'll see you guys next time.